Today, I'm going to be visiting with my family El Dorado Water Park, a brand new water park here in Punta Cana inside of Cap Cana. I'm going to take you through it. I'll show you what's open right now, the things that will open in the future. And I just try to take you on different places, show you different things. And El Dorado is a brand new water park. So uh, it's really cool. Again, about half built right now, but open. And we are season pass holders. So I'll just show you what it looks like, what it's like inside. And at the end of it all, we're going to tally it up. In fact, today we're celebrating my big kid's nine year old birthday. So I'll show you the cake. I'll show you a little bit of what, uh, what we're doing at this incredible water park. And we'll go from there. So let's go take a look so here we go going in here's the birthday cake we got a manchester city fan no, no, no. in our go midst back. go back go back between the cars we got a kid that went rogue on us and we're gonna go inside and figure out how to set all this stuff up so let's take a look so here it is dorado park this is the nine-year-old the back of him at least all excited ready to go it's like we got season passes, so we get to walk right in, I think, and uh, and be done with it. So let's see what see what happens when we go up to the front. There's an area of improvement the router could work on. So we have season passes. We paid for season passes for the whole year, and yet we still have to go through the same process. Wait in line. This line was much longer. Fill out a form. All of this. My wife literally just filled out all of our information, waivers, the whole nine, uh, even though you have season passes. So that's an improvement El Dorado needs to make. Because if you buy the season pass, we have a card with a QR code on it to scan easy right through. We should be going right through here, right in, not waiting in line. So mildly annoyed at the entrance, especially since we're trying to get to this birthday party, but the park is worth it. All right, we're inside. Strike two for El Dorado for me. So being honest and fair with the review, Again, having a season pass and not being able to just walk through makes no sense to me. Fill out all the paperwork, the whole nine. Second, as we walk through, we have water bottles. It is hot. It's summer in the Dominican Republic. And we were forced to dump the water bottles out. Other than in an airport, I've never been forced to do that. In fact, I remember at the Colombian airport, uh, Medellin, we had a water bottle for one of our kids. And the, the customs guy or whatever, the TSA guy in Colombia said, uh, well, hey, just have him drink it. So our kid drank it. He's like, great. I know it's not poison. Go ahead. So even there, they didn't make us dump out water, but a little strange to me to have us dump out water. I know why they want us to pay for the water, but come on. On a hot day in the Dominican, there's plenty of other things to spend money on inside here. Actually, they have great burgers here. I'll show you, but that seems a little bit ridiculous to me. So strike two on Dorado. All right, so over there you have the lazy river. It kind of rolls through here. And then we go into the restaurant, which I believe is where we're doing the birthday party. So that big boy, I haven't been on yet. That big tornado looking thing. I got to get on that today. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit! So that's my plan. And beyond that, the plan is this kid in green celebrating his ninth birthday party. So it'll be fun. You can't tell he's a soccer fan. So let's, uh, let's keep on going. Oh, what's over here? Let me see. Oh, those are the cabanas over there. There's a few more slides around the way, around the corner, which will go down. I brought my GoPro today, so I'll show y'all. You can see there's a bar inside there and all of that. So, and again, there's a lot more to go. There's a lot of growth over there still to go, but so far it's pretty cool. I were being kicked out of the upstairs here because they admit this, this as a, look at this, goes all the way to the floor. That is not safe for kids. So we're getting kicked out of here downstairs, which makes sense, but look, we're starting out a little slow here. This, not the best design for a water park where there are kids. I mean, honestly, if you look down here, even down there, it's the same setup and there's a drop off there. So it's not as if you go downstairs and it's any safer. I mean, you could fall, a kid could fall through any of that, through any of that. So like they don't want us up here because of the liability, which makes sense. But don't create the liability is my take. So, all right, Dorado, at the end of this, I'll tally it up. The good, the bad, 
things that could be better, the things that are really great about it. So I'll make sure you all see that. Nacho with no. Yes. <laughs> I got a nacho. I had some nachos. Now the cake, right here. Red velvet is what my kid wanted. This is from I think it's called Kufin. Kufin. I'll have to figure it out. Maybe I'll drop it down in the comments below or in the in the chat in the caption below. But it's not Vale. In Putacana, Vale V A L E is the the bakery. Every cake comes from Vale. This place is different. It's in downtown mall. I think it's, I don't know what their background is, but they're really good. We had it for our other kid's birthday, and now this one, and they're a newer bakery in the area. So just throwing that out there for everybody. As far as Dorado, I mean, we're right. I don't know if you can see it. We're right in the middle of it here. We're going to go out and do some stuff. Again, I'll bring my GoPro down some slides. We'll check it out. And then at the end of the video, remember, I'm going to give you the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, everything of being here. So, All right, so we wrapped the birthday party, and we're walking around. We are... We grabbed a, a cabana thing, or not a cabana, but like a, whatever those things are called, umbrella with a with beach chairs in this artificial beach, which is on the, not the lazy river, I might've called that before, but the wave pool. And on the other side of the wave pool, I'll show you here, you can see our bunch of slides. So we'll walk over there and check that out. But they got a bunch of cool stuff here. There's the, the showers as you go through, they're building something over here. They're building something back in there as well. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be yet, um, but they got a whole bunch of stuff here. So I'm going to show you as I walk up what this looks like and we'll go from there. So let's take a look at that. I follow you. Hola. <laughs> Gracias. So we'll, uh, we'll go up and take a look at it. Right there is the wave pool. I'm getting a nice breeze from that cannon. And then over here are the slides i might find our kids our kids have disappeared at least our older kid and a bunch of uh, other older kids my little guy's over in the in the wave pool with my wife and a friend of ours but we're working through here so these are cool so there's two one that's enclosed of these slides one that's half enclosed and one that's wide open and then you've got this sort of like faster drop slide what they call it troncos locos i guess right here right there it's a kind of a cool, there you go, you see somebody slipping down on a, on a mat. Not one of ours, not one of ours. There's a restaurant over here, and we'll walk through, and I'll show you a kitty area that's over here. So let's go through here and take a look. So walking through this uh, shade, which is great. We'll walk through here and then uh, see the kitty area. Oh, get side. Getting better at this walking and talking and not caring what people think think. A little bit better. <laughs> Let me show you. There you go. Here's like a little kitty park. There's some beds over on that side. This tree thing has uh, water features in it. I guess it's a real tree. They just put hoses in it. So I'll just, I'm going to back it out a little bit so you can see a wider shot. There you go. This must be just like a little mini, mini laser river for kids. And then on this side, they have small slides for kids and stuff. So you can see these little slides here, like kind of like a small, oh, you can see the, the, the name. Like a small little uh, cyclone thing and all these all these little kitty area pools and stuff. So pretty cool. All right, I think it's about time to break out this bad boy. I got my GoPro in my pocket. I can get it out without looking too weird. Grab my GoPro. Here it is. I think it's time to see if this thing is truly waterproof. I just got this. I did it for you because I was going to come here. So I went out and bought a GoPro. They say it's waterproof, but we're going to see. We'll take a look at that. Check it out. And then, yeah, let me see what else we have around here. All right. First time using the GoPro. We're going in. This is me. I got a little strap. Let's see. Never used it. You? Yeah. Have you? I, I brought ours the last time we are here. It was fun. Yeah, no, the, Sylvia made me wear this, but whatever. Joe Get underwater, I can look at you, ready? Get underwater. That's better than me Alright, so wave pool. <laughs> yeah, watch my little guy here, he's just 
He's just floating in there. Where's your bro? My big kid watches my little kid. He's always worried about it. He hates him, wants to beat him up all the time. But the moment the little guy looks like he's even moderately in trouble, here comes the big kid. So my little guy, I'm watching him because he's, he's doing all right. This is one of those moments me and my wife decided last time we were here, like eyes on, hands off. Because he's six now, he can swim. We take him to swim lessons twice a week. And we had a tendency, like when he looks like he's a little bit over his head, to swim out and get him. Now I'm just watching and he's doing it. He's doing it right now. I'm not gonna show, I don't like to show my kids' faces, but he's doing it. He's doing it for sure. Hey, come here. Great job, buddy. Great job. You wanna look under the water? We're gonna go try the big boy. Three, four of us are gonna go hit that big slide. So let's see if this thing lasts. You can, you can, we'll see. Let's do a montage of me going down a bunch of slides. That's probably the easiest thing. Let's go check out some, then I'll come back. Oh, this is gonna be something. So you drop down this and then down into... Oh, that looks fun. It's like you're a turd in the toilet. I gotta put you on my neck. Holy shit! Oh, we're getting flushed. <laughs> I guess it's filming, right? Okay, it's, filming. it's over here, guys. Where is it? Where are we going? Uh, we're going up. Up, up, up. Check this out. Onto a slide with some kids. I'm exhausted. We just went down a couple other big slides, but let's see what this place looks like. All right, I'll see you all on the slide. I gotta sneak this thing in from what I understand. They don't exactly let me use it, so I'll see you there. Oh, here we go. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm gonna make my stomach jump. Check out this whole kids area. Look at this little fountain. Super cool. All right, on the lazy river, in a rainstorm, but let's do a little wrap up review. See the rain? Nothing like a Dominican rain. Nothing like a Dominican rain. It is awesome. This is when our kids jump in the pool. Right. Let's talk about it, the highs and the lows of El Dorado. So here's some of the highs from my perspective. Slides are amazing. The big tornado looking one, and there's a toilet bowl one. Both amazing. I love both of them. Hopefully that music's not too loud. I'm gonna have to get by it. So slides are amazing. The park is like 40% of the way done. So there's a lot more park to go, which is cool. That means that as much fun as it is to be here, it's gonna become even more fun. Third, great place to take the kids to burn out their energy. You got a family, this is the place to go. I'll tell you, we've been here a couple times now and it is, it's awesome. They can run around, they can do a bunch of things. They have a zip line right now that's open. Um, again, all these flies, you see that big slide up there and everything else. So that's a lot of fun. Fourth, honestly, the food's pretty good here, especially for like theme park food. I'll, I'll be honest, like the nachos are good, all that stuff, but if you're a burger person, and you know I am, the burgers here are like legitimately good. <laughs> like I'd order one if it was at a restaurant. So I really, really like their burgers. The food is pretty solid. Now let's talk about some of the downsides. One, the entry process here is ridiculous, especially if you have a pass. 
they're still doing things on paper. So even if you pay to come here for the day, you've got to fill out a form and put everybody that's with you and everything else. It just feels very antiquated. Now, if you have season passes like I do, we paid, I think, about $400 for the rest of the year for our family of four. So there's 125 an adult, and I think 75 a kid for us to come as much as we want from now, which is June 2024, through the end of the year. I don't know if they're going to always offer that, but they offered it this year. And so for $400 to have season passes is amazing. But when we get here, you'd expect there'd be like a season pass line or something like that. So that was one demerit that I hope they can improve upon. More music. Second. When we got here, we had bottles of water, like like big metal bottles that we always carry around for us and for the kids. They search our bag, which I expect, they make us dump out the water, which is really frustrating. And I get it. What if it's liquor or uh, they want to sell the water once they get here? I get all that. But here's the issue. And this is hilarious to me. They made us dump the water out. And then we went to get some water and they're like, oh, we're sold out of water. We have to wait to get more. So you're going to make us dump our water out. You better know that you have water, especially when you're in the Dominican Republic, as hot as it is here. That's a little bit out of control. See if I run into that branch right there. This one. Well, if you're not looking, wow. If you're not looking, that would bang you right in the head. Yes, <laughs> see, <Sí>. cuidado, cuidado. <laughs> yeah, that's, there's a couple design flaws here, safety wise, right? So that's one. These trees, like this one, sticking out. Hay <laughs> agua. These trees sticking out of the water are not smart. If you're any taller than me, like look if you can see it, if you're any taller than me, you're gonna bang your head. And then to have bamboo like fences in the restaurant that kids could slip through. They're really loose, they're wobbly, and then there's no nothing like horizontally to kind of keep kids from falling. Or even adults, if you were to slip out, some of them are kind of wide, like a skinny adult can get through. See if we get through these things. I want to go hit by the water here. Let's see if we get, let's see if we can get a splash going here. Go, let's go. my wife back there so those are some of the things that i would say could improve here but is it worth it well if you're coming as a regular visitor right now as i record this i think it's about 129 dollars for an adult and maybe like 69 for a kid something like that don't quote me but you know go on the website and figure it out if you're a local and you can prove that you're local i think it's half so it's like 69 for an adult and like 39 or 40 for a kid even at the higher prices to come for a day sure it's fun it's a lot of, it's worth it you're in the Dominican Republic, man. It's hot, you cool off, there's a fake beach, there's a bunch of stuff to do, so it's really cool. So I definitely think it's worth it. Check this out. Ah. And again, it's not even done. So right inside of Cap Cana, this is the spot. Come and check it out. And if you want to see a little bit more about the Dominican Republic uh, living here, I did a tour of Punta Cana Village right over here. I'll drop that video for you. Check it out. And other than that, welcome to El Dorado, everybody.